Uh, today I'm going to show you how I trim the uh, mug and uh, I'm going to show you the uh, close-up view too so that you can see how the, the tool, my trimming tool cuts through the clay and how I position my fingers together okay so first I'm going to get my clay stick on the wheel head I usually uh, use water to stick my small part on the wheel but sometimes if you worry about that the clay might fly away you might want to add a coil on the corner uh, so that it doesn't fly away but uh, by doing so uh, it's I can easily to trim if I want to trim the bottom corner then there's no clay there to block my tools so that's why I usually like to keep my clay stick on the wheel head right on the wheel head so most of the time I'm using my trimming my um, standard steel trimming tools number two uh, I use the number two the most of my job for the removing clay part. Um, by uh, holding the tool very tight, you can see that I'm holding my tool uh, using my thumb and the finger to grab it tightly, tight. And I can uh, change the uh, the side of the trimming blade by doing this to get to the corner of the foot and by uh, switch side so I get to use this part to trim so this is the uh, number two trimming tools And also, I want to try to flatten the bottom. So, for the very first cut, I will start at this position. And you can see that I have my left thumb holding my tool to uh, stabilize it. And I cut it a little bit deeper so, so that uh, my tool is not uh, sitting on top of the unevenness so that I will be able to cut it flat. And after cutting it flat, I you see that all my fingers kind of uh, try to help each other. And just by using the corner of my tool to cut a small indent here. So this is will be my foot. And then I'm going to remove the clay in the middle. And for removing clay from the middle, I usually start in this position. You can see that I'm using the corner part of my trimming tool and start it from the very, very center and go dig in and then slowly move out my tool. Just one cut. And cuts I remove a fair amount of clay out of it and three cuts so after I remove quite a bit of clay I want to check the thickness by simply tapping the bottom and this sounds to me still quite thick so I will keep on going Check it again. Okay, 
this sounds a lot more better. Kind of like a drum, thinner. And then I'm gonna refine where I cut. So I refine the corner. Um, change the direction of my tool so this is a 90 degrees I'm gonna use the 90 degrees to cut into the corner of the foot so that corner here it's much nicer uh, because I'm using the 90 degrees of my trimming tools and then I want to run the corner here I don't want the, the corner to sharp so I hold my tool at an angle and try to round it so this part has been taken care now I want to refine the outer part of the foot. You see that I'm holding my tool tight, resting the tool on my left thumb. And also run the corner here. Okay, and then I'm going to undercut by using the corner of this tool. I cut a little bit deeper here. And to refine it, I leave a little small, small line. In the bottom corner, little line here. So that's the foot, and then I am going to get the surface nice and smooth by spinning my my wheel a bit faster and moving my tool slowly. is done and uh, this is a, a shiny rock I bought from the store and use that to burnish especially the bottom of my foot to round the bottom of my foot because this is the table where you don't want the bottom too thick to scratch your table so I use that to burnish the foot and uh, after that I'm using a uh, stamp this is made out of ox horn I have uh, years ago I have people copy for me uh, in Taiwan you can use it you uh, use the porcelain to cover yourself put your your logo or your initial so this is that uh, I have it have people make it smaller so that it just fits right on the foot so that I don't need to sign my name so a little bit more of 
the uh, trimming mark if you don't want it. Uh, you can spin your wheel fast and you can remove the line, the trimming line fast and slowly moving the trimming tools. Spin the wheel fast. Now the surface will be smoother and nicer. And if you want to trim this part here, there's a the little curve. Uh, I usually use my number five trimming tools. So you see that there's a curve, fits right in the curve there. If you want to trim, okay. Let me do the demo here. I'm going to trim the curve. So that my tools can reach the very bottom. As I told you that, that's why I want to use the uh, water instead of a coil to to hold my pot. Um, making a couple of lines here for the uh, decoration. This is done, finished trimming. Um, this is the way I try to pick it up from the wheel head. And spin the wheel and then twist, spin and twist. So this is the piece that finished trimming. A little bit rough on the edges. Just use a, a sponge. to clean up the uh, the rim so this is the piece that is done trimming um, all I need to do is add a handle here um, you will have, have a mark okay thanks for watching